in 16 marks the beginning of decades worth of capital improvement projects in Mobile. $21 million will be spent over hundreds of items across the district. But who will see the changes once they're done? News 5's Jacqueline Quinn takes a look. Old roads, broken sidewalks, and drainage issues, all concerns that the city of Mobile has waited decades to fix. One of the longest standing complaints in District 1 regards open ditches. Work will begin slowly to close each one, one by one. Water stands throughout the summer in those ditches. They have snakes, mosquitoes, all sorts of things uh, living in those ditches. And the smell, because the water is there year round. And in District 2, where sidewalks have been a major issue, repairs are on the way. Uh, there will be more money is allocated for street resurfacing and sidewalk improvements in District 2 than any other district in the city of Mobile. We're proud of that. And that's based off of hearing from citizens that that's the major need for our community. Across the districts, the complaints have been similar, and they total a list of nearly 400 capital improvement projects spread over three years. One of the bigger road projects is Old Shell Road near University. About two miles of this will see a facelift. And at South Ann, a portion of the road will be dug up to fix the drainage below to reduce flooding. And then the surface will completely be redone. And Airport Boulevard will see some big changes, but not necessarily construction as traffic lights get synced. It's going to be looking at the traffic between the lights, and measuring the flows, and then the lights, the, the sequence of the lights will be adjusted in order to maximize the flow. Other projects this year include fixing recreation centers, parks, bridges, and lighting. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. And although these projects are underway, Mobile Council members say they're still asking for feedback from residents on future projects.